about seven things you need to know before you start sewing. These are the things that I learned within a few years of sewing and recently have learned as far as like expanding and starting like a sewing business, like a actual sewing clothes and making shorts and stuff like that. So these are some of the things that I have learned. And yeah, um, I'm looking at my tablet because I don't want to ramble for too long. I got a lot going on right now. So yeah. Um, and yeah, I am wearing the same brand of shirt that I've been wearing in my previous videos, like the same brand, like the, you know, I'm not wearing the shirts. I'm wearing the same brand. So it's just a different color, but the same brand extra, you yeah, know, link in the description. If you want to order you one of the fall collection shirts, speaking of fall collection, um, I have made my first pair of joggers. They are a fleece light brown fleece with a satin pocket i also have my fall hoodies the check your energy before speaking and this dark brown with the white font and then i also have this light brown it's like a sand tan color i'll be putting like a white font on there so i can go with anything but enough rambling um like this video already just just like the video just to like the video subscribe to the channel if you haven't already subscribed and yeah follow me on instagram to keep up to date what i'm doing what i'm dropping you know the process behind the scenes and stuff like that and follow my tiktok right here so yeah but i'll get right into the video the first thing you need to know is the sewing machine see me i have this singer sewing machine i have this little singer sewing machine I had this for about four and a half years now. Um, it works perfectly. You don't have to invest in these expensive $500, $600 machines just to get started. This one is worked perfectly. I remember it costed $180. I got it from Target, I believe. Yeah, I got it off. I got it from Target. So yeah, you don't have to invest these crazy, especially when you're just learning how to sew. Maybe like when you establish something and you like not establish something like you know you can get your money back from your so like you making projects that will make you money then i will say invest in a, like an expensive machine because eventually i will be invested in a better machine but this one is doing just it's doing perfect and i will recommend this 10 out of 10 so yeah number two is practice before you know you like if you experiment like if you try to make something for yourself and you you know testing it out don't go buy an expensive fabric just to practice on, you know, don't just don't buy expensive fabric just to practice on. What I what I still do and used to do is um, and I still do this. Like I said, I go to the thrift store, you know, find cheap fabric that I can work with. I wouldn't say cheap because everything pretty much at the fabrics, the um, thrift store is cheap, but go to the fabric, the fabric store. The thrift store go to the thrift store and find some fabric that you like and that you feel like that'll be easy to work with don't get the flimsy fabric that fabric is very difficult to work with as a beginner so try to stick like try to get a a nice dense fabric that'll go through the machine easily so don't get the lightweight fabric as a beginner you could you know it depends on what you're trying to make and you know your what you going for for the most part so me i started off sewing like ripping up old t-shirts and re-sewing them back together that's how i you know started off for, for the most part you don't know where to start or you know what to do when you first get your sewing machine i would say just practice on old clothes that you already have rip them up or if you don't need them rip them up and sew them back together instead of going spending a lot of money on fabric and then messing that up and then you'll be mad so yeah because i know i was number three is there's more ways to do the same thing so a waistband on the shorts you can do that seven different ways if you somebody's always going to teach you a different way i learned how to sew by looking at youtube videos so you you can you you already know where I'm going with that. Everybody on YouTube is saying the same, a, a different thing, but getting the same results. So, yeah, it's way more than one way to get the same results. So never think that there's just one way to do something that you're trying to do. Look it up, watch multiple videos, 
and try to go for the one that seems easier for your level of you know experience as far as sewing because ain't nobody an expert at sewing but i'm gonna get into that later but yeah number four is supplies run out very quickly they do you will be very 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 surprised on how quick um thread runs out you'll be very surprised but um you could get the like the big ones but i'm telling you supplies run out very quick you lose supplies you will have to rebuy supplies because you lost it it's it's chaotic for the most part but i love it number five is it takes up way too much space and you will say how how does it take up way too much space you have to think about where to store the fabric you have to think about where to store the supplies the yarn not the yarn the um the thread the sewing machine the cutting mats everything the sewing table if you don't have a dedicated one it takes up so much space i have this whole area i have fabric everywhere i have a closet right here fabric everywhere i have a closet in my room with a tote full of fabric fabric scraps fabric everything so it takes up so much room that you just got to be prepared for that because it's a lot it is definitely a lot because you try to work with different fabrics you try oh i could think i could do this be prepared for that it's a never-ending journey so yeah oh number six is you understand exactly you understand more which means for you to for me you know you will go into a store and you will say why is this so much why is this even though you know it's like a big company which you know fast fashion is not good but if you were trying to buy clothes from me or somebody that hand makes their clothes, you will understand why it costs so much due to the fact that it takes a lot of time for one item. Like one pair of shorts could take me between one and a half to two hours. Um, it takes a lot of time, the materials, it, it takes a lot of time making patterns, um, you will understand why stuff costs so much, like handmade stuff costs so much. Once you start sewing, you'll understand why it costs so much. So that's number six. Number seven, the last one is it's never ended, which means, you know, you always can find something to do. And I think that's why, why it sticks with me so much. Cause I tried a lot of things. I tried tattooing, I tried photography, I tried baking, I tried candy store i try i try so many things and making shoes i guess that counts as one of them but it's like i try so many things and the only one that sticks is sewing because i say that because it's never ending you can learn how to make so many things you can learn how to make a jacket you can learn how to make a hat you can learn how to make a uh, a bag a pair of pants a pair of shorts a shirt, a, a, a robe, uh, uh, <laughs> you can learn how to make some, it's like, it's never ending. It's always something that you can create or recreate or make, make something new. So with the whole, what I was doing in the past, everything just got so repetitive. Everything, you, okay, you're making a shirt, okay. You're tattooing, okay. Even though you're doing a different design and you're testing your skills out, but it's just like sewing is it's, it's just different for me. I think it, it's different for me. Sewing is very different, and I love it. So, yeah. And I do a bonus one, number eight. Last one, the bonus one is no one's an expert. I can sit up here and talk all day. That don't mean I don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I can make clothes, but at the end of the day, even the most professional sewers or people that fashion designers are still learning how to make something because when you make a pair of pants and you make a skirt or you make a hat there's different techniques that you got to use they're different there there's different um sewing foots you got to use there's different sewing needles you got to use so it's always something so it's always something new and it's always a challenge so when you're going into like i'm perfecting my shorts it's fine but me going into jogging pants that's a whole different technique because the waistband ain't the same and that's a whole different technique. So I'm learning. It's basically, okay, I'll sum it up with that. It's never, you always learning. You pretty much always learning when it comes to sewing. So yeah, I guess 
I'll wrap it up here with that one. I know this video was like sped through for us. So like I said, I am going through a lot right now. I'm trying to deal with some family stuff right now. So, um, yeah, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already subscribed. And, and follow me on all my social medias to keep up to what I'm doing. My fall collection will be dropping very soon. And yeah, so I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.